Hello, I'm Patricia Yeo and welcome to Ginger Park in Boston. Today I'm going to show you how to make um, duck meatballs with a masaman curry sauce. It's a pretty straightforward recipe. It's almost a traditional Italian meatball recipe, but with all the flavors of Thailand and all the nuances of Thai cooking. So we grind down duck legs. Um, with the skin and the fat because you need all that fat in the meatballs so that it stays nice and moist. And to this we add finely diced lemongrass. This is lemongrass for those of you who don't know what it is. It's um, this lovely aromatic um, spice herb, I, I guess it would be. And I should also mention that this is a restaurant portion recipe. It's, um, the recipe that you've been given is for two pounds and this is a 10 pound portion. But I just didn't want to make a, make a portion for you and then have to make more for myself. So I'm being very lazy. Anyway, having added the lemongrass, I'm going to add some chopped garlic and some Thai bird chilies. Thai bird chilies are these wonderful little red little chilies that are super spicy. And if you don't like your food very spicy, just leave them out or use jalapenos or something that's not quite so spicy. And to this, I'm going to add masaman curry paste. Masaman curry paste, um, you can make on, make your own or you can actually um, buy it pre-made in almost any Asian grocery store. And my favorite brand, if you do decide to buy it, is called Mayploy. I found that working in restaurants that um, we have a lot of guests who come in with allergies and gluten allergies seems to be one of the major uh, allergies these days. So instead of um, using panko, which is a breadcrumb, to um, hold, bind my um, meatballs, I'm actually going to use oatmeal, which functions the same way, but it's got no, it's gluten free, or unless you're very, very sen sensitive, it's, it's probably, you know, it's better. And it's also healthier for you, I guess. And then to which I'm going to add some eggs. The rule of thumb that I use is two eggs per pound of meat. And it's this lovely process of sort of mashing everything together. Just binding it all up together, and if you and don't forget to season it with salt and pepper. The, if you buy pre-made um, curry paste, it's already pretty salty because it has they add quite a lot of fish sauce to it. But because ours, ours is not store made, um, I'm pretty careful about seasoning it. And I'm also going to add some fish sauce. Ugh. Fish sauce is um, this fantastic. condiment, for lack of a better word, that's made with um, little anchovies and it's sort of, and it adds a, um, the, the wonderful nuance that's so familiar to those of you who like Thai cuisine. It's, it's sort of that slightly piquant, almost the, the way the Italians use, Italians use anchovies, the Thais, Thais use, use fish sauce. All right, so essentially this is it. These get made into tiny meatballs. And again, depending on how lazy you are or how, you can make them into giant meatballs, which will take 30 seconds, or you can make them the way we do in the restaurant into these tiny little meatballs. Once you've made your meatballs and you put it in your um, oiled pan, it's going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes, depending on the size of the meatballs, obviously. If you make giant meatballs, they stay in for longer, and if you make tiny little ones, they stay in for less time. And while the meatballs are in the oven, you can actually make your masaman curry sauce, and it consists of um, all the mirepoix, which is onions and carrots, and I throw in a banana or an apple, just to bring out the sweetness of the, the sauce a little, because we're going to use the ubiquitous Thai red curry paste and some galanga. This is galanga. Galanga is a member of the ginger family, and it's you can find them in Southeast Asian markets as opposed to just Chinese markets. And unlike ginger, which is just pure, has that clean heat to it, galanga has a slightly more woodsy, more camphory flavor and it, it complements everything really well. So, and it's used in almost all the Southeast Asian cuisines from Thailand to Vietnam to Malaysia and, and you know, Indonesia even. So, it, it, and it's the natural, natural complement to um, lemongrass. So in the pot, we're going to actually sweat the 
vegetables. Sweat the vegetables. And I'm not actually getting any color on the vegetables. Unlike um, Western cooking, where you want to get a nice, uh, quite a lot of caramelization in, the, um, in, in your mirepoix, this is actually not caramelized at all because you want that fresh quality of the vegetables and, and you want all that brightness of the vegetables to come, come out. I'm going to add duck stock, but you can also you can use um, chicken stock or you can use water even because there's so much flavor in, 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 the, um, in the sauce itself that you know, you're not going to miss the, the richness of the stock and you're going to add the red curry paste and the coconut milk and you're basically going to let it simmer for 45 minutes, about 45 minutes till it's reduced by half. After which you're going to puree it in a fighter prep or a robocoup and then we're going to, and you're going to strain it. And now that our sauce is reduced by half, we're going to actually, after, and we've pureed it, we're going to actually pass it through a chinois. And this just makes the sauce, um, gets, gets rid of all the lumps and, and makes, it makes it a really nice smooth sauce. And I'm going to transfer it into a little pot to keep warm while we make the eggplant salad that goes with it. For the eggplant salad, we actually use um, Asian eggplant as opposed to the globe eggplant, which is the Italian eggplant. I find Asian eggplant slightly more creamy. It has more creamy texture and, and fewer seeds, so you know you're not constantly bite, popping, biting into these popping seeds. Um, the eggplants are charred under an open flame, based, or over an open flame, till it's sort of wilted and flaccid, for lack of a better word, and it's and you peel it. And it takes on this lovely sort of smoky flavor, which is complements the duck meatballs very well. Once you peel the eggplant, they get torn into little pieces, which is pretty simple to do. Sort of shredded into tiny little pieces in a bowl, obviously. And to this, you add some julienne red peppers, some julienne red onions, and herbs. The three herbs that I've used are Thai basil, cilantro, and mint, uh, together with the zest of one lime, a splash of lime juice, and some fish sauce. A little fish sauce goes a long way, and that gets tossed together, and this is the the base on which the meatball sits. So the eggplant salad is, as I said, the base of this, the, the dish and it goes onto a plate. Oops. See, I'm not used to using a spoon. I'm used to using my fingers and it makes it a lot more difficult having to use a spoon. And then you're going to sort of intersperse the meatballs on the sort of nestle it into the, the eggplant and nappe the whole thing with this masaman curry sauce. And voila, that's your final product.